Okay, well, hello everyone. Okay, so um, in this video, I wanted to talk about storing the content or the value of one variable, okay, into another variable, okay. When you do that, the first variable's content stays the same. You're only making a copy of the first variable and storing it, storing that copy in the second variable. And so let me show you what I mean. So we've learned that we can initialize variables this way. For example, we can declare a variable of type int, right? We can call it, let's say, let's just use number. <laughs> we can call it number, uh, or let's just say age. We can call it age and initialize it, right, to a value, let's say, 27, okay, 10 terminated. Now we can also create another, well, I'll, first of all, let's name this variable my age, right? We can create another variable. I can call it, it's, well, first of all, it's going to be an integer. I can call it my friend, my, well, I just call it friend age, friend age, okay? Because you can't really, I don't want to put an apostrophe, that's bad, right? We're just naming the variables here, so I'll just say, I'll just, oh, I'll just make it read well and say age of friend, camel case. And I can set it equal to a, a, a number just like this. Or I can also assign it to, or, or set it to basically the variable itself. I can say my age. Right? What I'm doing is I'm saying that store, okay, store in this variable age of friend the content of my age. My age holds the value 27. And I'm saying make a copy of it and just store that copy in age of friend this doesn't change my age this doesn't change what's stored in my age it doesn't affect it in any way it's just making a copy of what's stored in my age and storing it in age of friend my age still stays the same and so we can test it out here well before that right we can test it out and say right before we so right after we declare my age and set it to 27 we can print out system.out but print ln right, and we can print out um, a string and say the content of my age is, and then we can concatenate it with the variable my age. Sorry, my typing is bad. Okay, and right after we right after we set my age. Okay, right, we set what's stored in my age to age of friend. Let's go ahead and still print out what's stored in my age and see if anything has changed. And say, the contents of my age, oh, oh let's just say that. The contents, yeah, my, the contents of my age has been copied to age of friend, right? And say my age is still, or, or let's just say, it's. Oh, let's, you know, I'm just trying to be specific here. I'm sorry. The uh, the con the value of my age is. And then uh, let's set it to my age, right? So basically, what we are doing is we are initializing my age to 27. And displaying the content of my age, we are set. We are making a copy of. We're basically copying the content of my age and storing it in age of friend. My age is my age contains twenty seven at this point. We are just checking to see if my age still contains twenty seven, or we just want to see if it with the value of it, right? So when I compile this and I run this, then we can see that it says the content of my age is twenty seven at this point. And then now we make a copy of my age. We basically we are basically storing what's stored in my age, and basically we, we are storing what's stored in my age in age of friend. That's all we are doing. It doesn't remove what's stored in my age. It doesn't change what's stored in my age. My age still stays the same. What we are doing over here is just saying, hey, just 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 put a coffee. A, a, I said coffee. Just put a copy of what's stored in my age and st and just store it here. Don't you know? You're, that's all you're doing. You just make a copy of it, and my age still stays the same. And that's why when we um, call the system that out the print Ellen statement again here, we said my the content of my age has been copied to age of friend. The value of my age is, and we can see that it's still 27, right? 
And so in this um, in this uh, video, I just wanted you to know that anytime you store the value of a variable to another variable, it doesn't change the variable that you are trying to make a copy of and, and store it in the other variable. It doesn't change. So anytime you try to, for example, store what's in here in age of friend, right? It doesn't change this variable. It doesn't change my age. And also, well, one, one thing here. Um, let's do something here. So even so, over here we set age of age of friend to my age, right? So it's twenty seven, right? So let's continue displaying the message. One more thing, I just wanted you to pick one more thing here because all these things add up when you're creating your programs, your big programs. You know, it's good to have an understanding of it. Let's also display the content of age of friend. So let's continue with this. Continue on the next line, and I'll just say that a string and say the content of age of friend oops age of friend yes and then let's concatenate it to the variable age of friend like this okay so now let's compile this run it okay so let's have a new line character right here right after 27 so right here, let's have a new line character. Compile this, run it. Okay, so the content of my age is 27. The content of my age has been copied to age of friend. The value of my age is 27. The content of age of friend is 27. All right? Now, I'm going to change the content of age of friend. I'm going to say age of friend is going to be equal to, I'm setting it to 30, uh, 35 and put it to, uh, and have a semicolon here and then I'll basically display the content of not my age but age of friend I just want us to see what happens when we change the value of what's stored you know change the value of a variable right so variables can only hold one value right you can't put more or basically store more values in a variable it can only hold one value Let's test this out. So what we did over here was we initialized my age to 27. And so the content of we displayed the content of my age and it was 27. And then we set, okay, we basically stored in age of friend what's stored in my age. My age had 27. We're storing what's stored in my age into, into age of friend. And so we displayed what's stored in my age. It didn't change, it stayed at uh, um, 27 my age was still 27 right and we also display the content of age of friend and, and it, it also said that it's 27 and then we changed over here the content of age of friend now age of friend had at this point was 27 and then we changed the content here now we don't have to declare it again we don't have to say int age of friend and now we've, we've, we've talked about this in um, previous videos but once you declare a variable, you've already declared it. Uh, you've already declared that this is a variable that can store only integers. So you just use it in your programs, and you store values in there, and you do stuff with them. But yeah, so that was just to mention. So so you you know as a refresher. But over here, we change the value of age of friend from 27 to, to 35. Anytime you do something like this, you are replacing what what used to be stored in age of friend. Age of friend used to store 27 at this point and we changed it to 35. So now what's stored in age of friend has been you know uh, it's basically 35. Okay, the the previous value has been kicked out and now 35 is what's stored in age of friend. So va variables can only store one value. And so uh, when you when you when you assign a, a different value to it, it it gets replaced, all right? We can have another var um another another initialization statement over here and say age of friend same thing you're changing it to from 35 to 67 now this is the last statements that run so first of all it sets it, it sets it to 35 and then now we set it again to 67 now that's first of all 20 it, it used to store 27 and then 35 was stored in age of friend that means 27 was kicked out and 35 occupied age of friend and over here we've set age of friend to 67 that means 35 was kicked out and 67 now occupies age of friend and so now when we Run this program again and display and display the content of age of friend over here. Sorry, over here I need to change the the the, this, the label again. The content of age of friend. Sorry. 
I'm sure some, I'm sure you, some of you saw it or most of you saw it if not all of you um, and compile this and then now we should expect age of friend to be 67 because this is the last number okay this is the last number we tried to store in age of friend and so the content of age of friend we, we meant to display the content of age of friend here and so that's why I changed the label it was my age before I didn't want to confuse anyone so I hope you all you all get it yeah okay so compile this run it and over here we, we, we can see that age of friend is 67 we set it to 35 it's not 35 anymore but as soon as as soon as we, as soon after we set it to 35 we also set it to 67 and so 35 has been you know basically was kicked out and then 67 replaced um, age of friend and so in this video I just wanted you to know that first of all variables can store one value when you try it when you initialize or when you set the the value or the content of a variable with another value right the the new value kicks out the old value basically and then the new value is basically what's stored in that variable right so th so that was the first thing I, want, I wanted you to pick out from this video and also over here when you try to store the content of a variable in another variable what's stored in this variable it, it's not changed it's not affected it what hap what's happening is you're only making a copy of this variable and storing it in this variable okay it will be what, what's stored in my age over here will be stored in age of friend but what's stored in my age will, will, be, will stay the same this is just making a copy and storing it here okay so that that's what I wanted you to understand because you see this a lot in your programs and it's it's worth you know it's spending some time to just understand it because these little things add up you know to you know for you to really have a good solid understanding to create your program okay all right so if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them I hope this helped thank you very much for watching take care of yourself and I'll see you next time with the next video okay bye bye